<laughs> Alright, starting point. Gonna make the red first. Get all my red mixed together. No. Step one is going to be a square. I'm sorry, a cube. Bum, 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 bum. I must have bigger paper clips back then. Oh, I was using jumbo paper clips. Okay. Just started. Just started. Just started and already at 121. All right. That's a good start. All right. So 10 or, f I don't know, 15 years ago, whatever. I made this thing. Let's see if I can even get it on camera. I might need to raise. Alright, so 10 years ago I made this thing. It, yeah, I gotta pull this off. This thing, <laughs> out of paper clips. And that's what I was practicing with shapes and didn't know what the hell I was doing. So now I'm gonna see if I can improve it. Remake it. Can't move the camera. Operate with me for once. <laughs> We're going to integrate some. Uh Chain mail into it, of course. Eh, I've done plenty of just regular balls. Ones that look more ballish. <laughs> so, first step to a cube. These have to be the same size. All of them have to be the same size. Okay. We're making some stuff out of paper clips. Like always. First change, I'm replacing that green ring with that. Uh, I could remake that green. Yeah, it's fine. Well, 
I don't know. If I'm keeping the colors like I am for the cube, I might as well make that thing green like the original. We'll make the cube first. How do you get the airplane mode? Start making things. Yeah, that one flew over my head. Pun not intended. Okay, we're gonna leave this one. My red's like two different colors. Kinda like the darker red. I'm gonna go with the darker red. Gonna do some wrapping on this. Just give it a nicer look. Gonna leave a gap right there in the middle for a future connection. Yeah, we're gonna make a new one of those. We'll make it green. Stick to the original. Unless I simply don't have the colors anymore, but I definitely have green. Well, happy birthday. Ordinary? <laughs> well, ordinary lemon. Happy birthday, ordinary lemon. One of these days, they're going to change the color of people's usernames. I don't know why they do that. Yeah, that's a good one. You're talking to people. Let's let's make it dim and hardly re uh, legible. That was a good idea, TikTok. Bean. <laughs> don't know why I'm saying bean, but Bean. Leaving that open. Eh, give it time. I'll probably stab myself. We're remaking an old project from years ago, seeing if we can make it better. And yes, I know that doesn't appear on camera very well at this angle, but I unfortunately can't keep raising the camera up and down. Problem is, if I raise the camera up to a higher angle, then I can't see the screen and see what y'all are commenting. It's a bad catch. Catch 22. I'm just going to leave that little spot right there open. And it's hooked up to my ring light. So, straight down in the center of the light. And then I can look over it. Try 
trying to run away from me. All right, we should start in the middle. So that'll be one edge of our cube, but we need to remake this. The original one was green, so we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do it in green. See what we got in the green department. Kind of lime green, I'm not happy with that. triple tone it but we are going to use the silver outer edge nope not the shirt tonight we're detouring since I got my 25,000 followers we're going back and redoing an old project to see if we've improved or not so, we're going to start with a straight piece of wire. Now I need this bottle. No stabbing yet. Now what that tool does, it makes a little tiny circle. Right now, this very moment, we're doing one of these, but in green, for the main project. Only objection to this thing is they like getting stuck on there. there go. All right, so now we got a little tiny ring on the end. It's good for jewelry fittings. But for my purposes, I just need that hook. Use the flat ones. Not trying to get a full bend on there, just enough to go through the hole. So 1.5 millimeter looper. Looper. It's very simple. A little tool. Use my scraps here. Picked this up about a year ago. I haven't had a whole lot of uses, but it does have its uses. So you get a little hole in the back there. You can shove your wire straight through there. Mm, probably can get up to 14 gauge. Then you just give it a little squeeze and it automatically curls, cuts, and makes a little loop. So it's going to make the loop right there on this little rod. You do got to watch for the kickback though. And it'll cut off your excess. And then you've got a little loop. But if you're doing like a piece of jewelry or something, you need a loop at the end to attach a ring or a clasp or something. That's great. Yeah, we uh, so we're recreating this from years ago. And in the original, I had this green ring here. But instead of just doing this plain, simple green ring, we're going to do one of these. But we're going to make it out of green. Except for the outer ring, of course, obviously. How did Los Angeles? Thankfully, this ring does not have to be perfectly circular. Close up. 
close enough. That'll work. Alright, we are gonna need some green. So let's do let's do dark to light. Let's see how many of these metallic ones I got. I really like the metallic ones. I should have stocked up when I had the chance. I'm not going to need that many, but... I'm still torn. All right, so we got three shades. We got metallic, we got forest, and we got light. Which order do I want to put them in? Thinking that direction. Metallic, forest, light. Could go the other way. Could mix and match it. Decisions! We'll do the light on the outside, kind of like an eye iris. That's what we'll do. Yes, they are rubber coated paper clips. So are these. So is my demon walking his demon dog while smoking a cigarette underneath the street light. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So are Steve's eyes. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Ali Janak. I know I butchered that one. Always appreciate a nice rose. All right, so step one. Straighten your paper clips out. Just for kicks, as far as mandrels tonight, we're going to use my nail. I'm going to the hardware store tomorrow. I'm going I'm to get some more nails. I like the nail. About the cheapest mandrels you're gonna get. You can just go to the hardware store and just buy a uh, fifty different sizes. I mean, if I'm making things out of paper clips, I might as well use a, a nail as a mandrel. Mm, thank you, Jake. Again, Jake's going nuts here. Got to be real gentle with the rubber tips. Because you will uh, scratch that wire right off of there. We got fire in here. We got lollipops in here. Apparently, I need to do lives at night. Thank you, Stoogly. Hello, Clem. This is the hard part. I'm trying not to rip this rubber off. You know what? I got plenty of paper clips. We're going to leave that little tiny piece on there just so I don't rip the rubber. Rings. Only four per clip. That's a bit of a letdown, but okay. Uh, for the shirt, I am doing a hood. And the hood will be out of my 3mm. Which I'm not wearing for some reason. I don't know why I didn't put it on tonight. Stoogly's turn to throw them roses out there. Thank you, Stoogly. I still need my right hand free of it, though, just because of the pliers. It's very flexible, very comfortable, but pliers it doesn't interfere with. And I'm going to cut out some of this guesswork. Count what I did last time. So let's mark one of these. I'll throw a blue in there. Just so we know where we start counting. Thank you for the cake, Allie. Seriously, somebody else want to take a guess on pronunciation on that one? It's the J that's throwing me off. I 
All right, 20 even. That's easy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Ali. I just wish I knew how to say your name. I'm going to have to go to your channel later and look at some of the videos to see if I can figure it out. Elena. Thank you, Stoogly. Thank you, Stoogly. Stoogly really likes roses, apparently. Or really likes throwing roses out there. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm not usually a big on receiving tips. I think it's the time of night. Typically, I'm in the afternoon. I'm working on it. <laughs> Taking a break on that. I've been working on that. Working on that one for a week. Needed a needed a day of not working on that shirt. <laughs> well, not really a shirt. It's gonna be a uh, gonna be a hoodie. I'm doing a chainmail hoodie with three different three different weaves in it. All right, so we get four per clip. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So that's all we need. My nail go. Did I lose the nail already? There it is. Stoogly, stoogly, stoogly. I still got to make a... Uh, what was it? Somebody wanted me to do a, a Flavor Flav clock to put on Bob's neck. Sent weights. I don't even... Stoogly, I don't even know what weights... <laughs> I don't even think I've seen the weight yet. They keep changing these things. They kind of make it hard to understand what you're getting. But you figure it out in the end. But appreciate it nevertheless. Kevin. I was looking up uh, some wire artists earlier on TikTok. Once upon a time, I was a wire artist. Stop making trees, man. Everybody stop making the trees. <laughs> it's like all you all you see when you look up the wire art now is like the trees. I found a couple of good ones. I mean, don't get me wrong, I made I've made the trees myself, but it's like the most basic uh, thing that we all learn how to make first. <laughs> uh it depends a lot on what weave you're using and most importantly what ring you're using. So <laughs> My little glove right here, just one glove, is 40 hours. I do have the set. I've also got the gold set. These rings are significantly bigger, so I can make the gloves in five hours. So it's a big time difference. So on the shirt, I'm doing these rings for the main chest area. Uh, I will be putting buttons in. It's not going to be a pullover. I'm doing this weave for the shoulders and hands. I'm going to attach them to the ends of the glove. And for the hood... I'm going to be doing this heavily modified Helms weave because I need that rigidity so it doesn't just like flop on top of my skull once I put it on. So the engineering of the project, that's my favorite part. Now the biggest engineering hurdle I've had so far was uh, the windmill. So I had to figure out how to make the, <laughs> figure out how to actually have moving parts on a sculpture made out of paper clips. Sad thing is, I also gave the windmill away. <laughs> I gotta stop giving away everything. So Helm's weave is very versatile. But you gotta... For my purposes, I had to add a whole lot to it. Here's some more Helm's weave. but So you got Helm's weave in the middle... And going sideways, it's Byzantine. And I don't even remember what this is. <laughs> but this, unfortunately, the red ones are not paper clips. The red ones are aluminum, which is one of the reasons why I now uh, advocate against anybody using aluminum. Because aluminum is weak, and you can just rip. That's what happens if you buy aluminum chainmail online. It will rip. Now, I didn't buy this. I made this. But aluminum is weak and pathetic. I will never use aluminum again. Spent a lot of time building that thing just for it to rip. 
My outfit right now is a t-shirt. I did not bother putting on a suit right now. Ah, uh, yeah, self-taught. I started with trees. Like, <laughs> I, started, I started with trees. We've all made the trees. The trees are the simplest thing. But then I, uh, I got bored at work one night. I was doing uh, security guard work, middle of the night. And I didn't have any wire with me or tools. But I did have a box of paper clips. After that night, I never looked back. I like the challenge. I like the engineering challenge of trying to figure out how the hell do you make stuff out of paper clips. And sometimes you you mess up. Got to trash a project here and there. Start over. Or modify it. Bob the Dragon was originally a boat. So the top of his skull was gonna be the was gonna be the bottom of a ship. And I knew nothing about how ships were built. <laughs> and I realized that I screwed that up and I'm like, well, it kind of looks like a skull. So I gave him a bottom jaw. His teeth, of course. I still have not had time to finish his legs. So, he's basically a torso since I amputated his arms. Well, let's see what we got here, Bob. Let's see if I can keep this from being upside down on y'all's end. That's Bob. And his arms and legs are on the shelf. Couldn't see it. Okay. Let me raise this. That's the simplest solution. Now, I can't see the comments right this second. All right. Ah, that damn light. Okay. See, I was trying to get it so I could get more Bob in the picture. And yes, he has a gold tooth. Still working on the tongue. But right now, he's basically a head, a neck, and a torso with no limbs. It's okay, Bob. It's okay. Not yet. I do not sell. Okay, lowering back down here. They're no more stronger than any other paper clips, which is 16 gauge galvanized steel. Typically, depend on manufacturer. And back in place. Alright, let me count this. Make sure I got my 20. Nope. Too short because I had a couple of bad ones. One more. Good old Bob the Dragon. Formerly a boat. And then his little brother, Steve. This is prototype one. I'm sorry, prototype two. There's a smaller one. I don't know where it is right now, but he's out there somewhere. 
I forgot his name. Alex? Jeff? Something like that? <laughs> See, when you start naming your projects, you got to remember them all. That's the problem. That's why I'm going with Bob. <laughs> Bob and Steve. Nineteen and twenty. Right there. All right, so you say you want to learn how to do this. It's very simple. Start with a ring. It doesn't have to be this size. It can be any size, but you need a little, a little size to it. If it's too small, you're not going to be able to put many on there, but... Theoretically, if you had a ring that big, you could do it. Now, the number of rings you need are going to change depending on how big it is. Oh, I'm fine. No, uh -oh, where's my ring? I'm so used to wearing it. I didn't realize I wasn't wearing it. All right, we're going to try out the subpar new one that just doesn't feel right because I don't know where the other one is right now. Ah, it just feels off. Feels so wrong. <laughs> Very simple for the first row. You're just going to attach each of your rings to the outer ring. If you know how to do European 4-in-1, this will be an easy project for you. 60 rings in total. Yeah, this thing just... You suck. <laughs> I've had the same one of these things for 10 years. I don't know where it is right this second, but... Oh, wait, I see it. Ha-ha. There we go. I've worn this one for so long, I bought a new one to replace it, but uh, it just doesn't feel right. It's like if, you, uh, if you're a video game player and you've had the same controller for a while and you get a brand new controller, you can tell it's not your controller. <laughs> Nobody else can tell, but you can tell. Yeah, I got some uh, chain armor right here. It's not finished, but I got it. Yeah, I can't even tell what that third word is. Do you blank my font? I would say that you were trying to go with like, but nah, there's no way that says like. I don't know where you're from. I'm from New Orleans originally, now currently in St. Louis, Missouri, United States. I messed up the rubber on that one a little bit. That's okay. Still hanging on there. I am not. I am not a LARPer. Nothing against it. Just not me. Hopefully you're not in Chicago, otherwise I'd be worried you're about to be shot. Howdy, Australia. See, this is why I need to do lives more in the middle of the night, but unfortunately I work a 9 to 5. So I can get those people from all over the world. What was a new tattoo of? Don't know who Chief is. Don't know what his training camp is. So, no. I'm originally from New Orleans, so red beans and rice. It's one downside of moving north. The food's horrible. My day is going just fine. In fact, it's going pretty good, actually. We hit our 25,000 followers mark, so going very good.
Oh, I can cook red beans and rice. I still cook red beans and rice. Just because I left uh, New Orleans doesn't mean I can't cook the food, but I don't want to always cook. And there's some ingredients that are hard to get, especially seafood. That's the Midwest, so see, most of the seafood's got to be frozen and flown in. Uh, for this little ring, not that long. We are about to be a third of the way. For the entire project, I don't know. Depends how much I decide to modify it from the original. The original one, I probably did in a few hours. Alright. Jump ring opener, jump ring closer. You can get these for about five bucks. Grab it. You want to use the slot that is closest to the gauge you're on. I eyeballed it and could tell it was this one. Stick it in there and give it a little twist. You can open and close, open and close. Basically, it gives you another free hand. The ring doesn't fall off, but the ring does hurt after a while. Because when you twist it, you're putting that force onto your finger. And it's essentially twisting the ring like this. <laughs> if there's vampires in New Orleans, I never met any when I was living there. Well, any of the blood-sucking kind. Gonna be a drop at night, I can tell. We are making a green version of this for another project. All right, so we got our 20 rings on that one. Now we need to switch colors. Go with the forest green next. What kind of... This paperclip isn't either of any of the three. Mixed in there. Now the reason I use jumbo silver paperclips, but number one size colored paperclips, is because the wire gauge is slightly different. So a smaller paper clip has a smaller gauge to it. These are 17 or 18 gauge, whereas these are 16 last time I checked. But the rubber coating makes them thicker. So little paper clip with rubber coating equals the same thickness as the big one without. Jumbo paper clips that are the same size but have the rubber coating on them are thicker. And they won't work. So small. Another 20 rings. We're doing the exact same number of rings on the inner circle. I do not. Ah, that was from another project. Is that a different shade? No, that's it. Going crazy. Hello again. Being careful with the rubber again. Yes, I was there in Katrina. That is why I'm currently no longer in New Orleans. My house was... Uh, <laughs> three houses down from one of the levee breaks. So it is... Well, actually, no, it's not destroyed. Everything in the house got destroyed, but it was actually pretty solid. Made of bricks. So it's been rebuilt since I moved. Depends what I'm working on. Now, if I multitask, because, I don't know, ADHD, OCD, whatever, uh, I can watch TV and do chain mail for hours. Or sculptures. This shirt, for example, I've been working on for a week on every one of these lives on a daily basis. Hence the reason we are currently taking a break, because <laughs> getting a little tired of that one. It's got a lot of work left. But we'll be back to it tomorrow.
Yes, I make everything from paper clips. All of this is paper clips. Whatever time the live starts to die or I'm just tired and or have something else to do. Office administration. Yes, very fun stuff. I do paperwork all day. It's it's a, it's a ball. <laughs> but no, I uh I actually assistant property manager for a skyscraper starting in 3 weeks. Still just paperwork all day though. No. Well, I mean I could paint the paper clips, but when I started doing this, I set rules for myself and one of the rules is no, no painting, no adhesives, no outside materials. If I can find the paper clips I already made this way, that's a different story. But I can't alter them. Except to twist them, obviously. Now, when you're doing the little tiny rings, I only cut them one at a time as opposed to the big ones. Because if I want to cut multiple rings at a time, I'd have to really jam it in there and it might bend them. And these are a little bit bigger. I got five out of that one. I tried origami for a little while. I made a couple of flowers. That's about it. Sculptures mainly. So, I originally started doing traditional wire art uh, when I was in high school, which was 20 ish years ago, about 22 years ago. And then about 15 years ago, I started doing paper clips instead of wire. And then about 10 years ago, I picked up chain mail from the paper clips, of course. And yes, I am cutting more than 20, but that's okay. We will save the other ones for another project. I don't know what project, but we'll save them. I honestly can't say. Probably boredom. <laughs> and I've always just had a more three-dimensional artistic imagination. I can't draw for shit. <laughs> to save our extras. Not a whole lot of extra, but it's still extra. All right, so if you know how to do European four in one, this should come very easy to you. You've got your outer ring with 20 rings on it. We got our inner ring with 20 rings on it. Your ring number is going to vary depending on the size of your outer ring. And you're going to assemble this just like you would European 4-in-1 going sideways, if that makes sense. I don't know. Makes sense to me. But basically, the second set of rings is very simple. You're going to take the inner set and stab it through two of the outers. Nothing to it. We are still very simple. This is an easy project. Going to grab our second ring here. It's going to get a little bit more complicated, but not by much. I couldn't even tell you. You're going to take one more ring, and this is where the four and one comes in play. 
I'm gonna slide it up there. So we've got the ones we started here, which is two of the outer rings, one inner, and we've just added one more here. So this ring, you're gonna go through two again. But you're gonna go through the next two and leave off the first one. The important step here is to keep the pattern of this one. So the next one has to be sort of to the left inside. It'll make sense if you do four and one. I have tried all kinds of things to keep this thing from hurting. They've all failed. <laughs> They've all failed. I've yet to find a reliable method. Usually takes a while though. Now, for long term damage, the pliers do worse. I've got uh, long term ulnar nerve damage. Haven't had it flare up on me in a while. But when it does, my right hand basically becomes paralyzed, so that's fun. Got to be willing to bleed for your art. Anything with repetitive motions, you're going to develop problems. That's just all there is to it. I am 37... 38 in October. Yeah, the whole, you, you gotta have that friction, otherwise it doesn't really work. Like, if you just put it right there where it's loose... It doesn't work, so if you put a band-aid on there, it kind of obstructs it, too. Leather gloves would probably work, but, eh, I think that would hinder me more than help. So, my birthday is a bit of a weird one. Uh... My dad is a cop, retired now, and my birthday is October 4th, which is 10-4. So nobody that worked for him or with him ever forgot my birthday. It used to drive me nuts. It also makes me a Libra, which is the scales of justice. Another weird coincidence. That must be an American thing. Effectively, it means copy. Police talk. Like 187, homicide. 104, copy. All clear. It can mean a lot of things. How you use it. We're going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, before he retired, <laughs> he was a deputy chief. The last time I spoke to him, he was a captain. We're not on the best of terms.
Not right this second, but it's in plenty of my videos. Including like three from today. So we are making one of these, but in green for another project. Yeah, view count's kind of jumping. We had like five or 600 for a minute there. It always does that. Still higher than a lot. For those of you just joining us, we're turning paper clips into one of these. This is also paper clips, by the way. And we're making a green one for another project. I was gonna use the one I already had made, but that would be cheating. I'm a stickler for following my own rules, which I made up. <laughs> Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. They're only about five bucks. Look for a jump ring opener or jump ring closer. Just don't buy a cheap plastic one. Or aluminum. Look for steel or copper. Or iron, I suppose. I don't think I've ever seen an iron one, though. And we are just about done with the inner second ring. Really, there's not a whole lot of challenge that goes into this until you get to that third set. Same thing we're doing for this one, it just gets a little trickier. Just for fun. I'd like to sell stuff, but haven't gotten around to actually setting up the shop. And I'm not a very good salesman. <laughs> I have a feeling I would really undercut myself. Not that I've noticed, but I am a smoker, so I have no sense of smell. <laughs> We're making one of these in green for another project. The paper, these are also paper clips. The green stuff is paper clips. They are wire coated, I'm sorry, rubber coated wire. Also steel, but a very small gauge. I think 17 last I checked. Oops, just lost my spot. Dropping the night, I tell ya. I don't know what a glib is, but probably. <laughs> when I first started doing this, I would go into like uh, supermarkets and Walmart and stuff and just walk around and be like, I bet I can make that out of paper clips. <laughs> I'm talking shelves and boxes and all kinds of stuff. Occasionally, I will use the painted ones. These very expensive gold ones that I got for the Loki project, they are painted. So they are actually 14-gauge steel. These things are... These things are serious. Make some... Ooh, I could make some armor out of them, but... Uh, they're also extremely expensive. So I can get a thousand silver ones for eleven dollars. Used to be six, COVID. Thanks, COVID. Uh, these are about seven or eight bucks for fifty. So eleven dollars for a thousand silver or seven bucks for fifty of these. These are about a dime a piece, ridiculous. But they are strong and the paint stays on pretty well. 
Bob is the biggest thing. We did a we did a showing of Bob earlier. I'll do another one later, but not right at the second. We have to adjust the camera, and it's a whole thing. <laughs> Good old Bob. I will have to switch to the double plier method here for the final set. Ring has its uses, but it can't get into really tight spots. Good old Bob. All right, this is always the worst one because you got to get over this hump that you created when you're making your own ring. Makes it very tight. Got it. No, we are making this thing out of green for another project. And I'll probably have to disconnect a few of these as we go. I always notice there's some problems with some of these. But in general, it should be fine. Most of them I'm just going to have to flip. All right. Final color. We need 20 of this sparkling one. It is very similar to crochet. I run a skyscraper. It's not as glamorous as it sounds. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna say skyscraper. It's 24 floors, office space. Yeah, I'm not joining the Vegeta Club either. You know, if you got to go into random people's lives to advertise the cult, uh, it's pr probably not that good of a, of a cult. You should probably back out. Just saying. Not very often. I am more of a science fiction person. I know, a science fiction person who makes medieval crap. The Expanse is my favorite. Uh, one of these gloves, I have both, I just need my right hand to be more ambidextrous. Uh, one of the gloves took about 40 hours. Very tiny rings. There's a lot of rings in this thing. <laughs> <coughs> I am not a Warhammer fan. I know, it's space fantasy. But nah, as far as games go, I'm more of a... Survivor simulation type, long dark, astroneer, subnautica. It is a nail. That's right. We're going really low rent tonight for our rings. We're using a nail. Further proof that you can use literally anything to make chainmail. You just got to have a smooth end. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the hardware store and I'm going to buy some more nails. Because <laughs> they're cheap and you can buy a million of them. And they work very well. Just started, uh, what is it? The Green Hell. That's a little weird. Alright, that should be enough of those. Not gonna need the nail again.
Long time. Chain mail for a decade, paper clips for 15, and wire art for 20. But I haven't not done any real wire art in years. I know absolutely nothing about them. I know about my old, my old stomping grounds, the Pogs, man. What you know about them Pogs? <laughs> I'm old. Uh, the profile pic was, is my signature, and then one of my followers turned it into a little picture, so I use that. But it's a, it's a paper clip unwinding into a coda. For obvious reasons. Alright, let's see how many we got. I know I've made all the rings. All the rings are made out of paper clips. Nineteen, really? One ring short. So, a long time ago when I was first starting to work with paper clips, I made this thing here. It's kind of hard to get on camera. It's small. I'm trying to recreate it now. Let's see if I can do it better. Purely cosmetic. In fact, it's probably, you know, well, not probably, it is impractical. For imp practical. <laughs> For example, if you're uh, wearing metal around in the middle of winter, <laughs> it's going to get very ugly. Form one chainmail pattern you can learn to do in a day. I literally learned it in one night. Very easy. Just got to practice it. I'm not saying you're going to be great at it in one night, but you can learn it at night. You can learn it in a few minutes. Just got to practice. All right, that's our 20. Once you get the basics of chainmail out the way, like me, you can look at a picture of chainmail and usually figure out the other patterns from just looking at it. All right, so chainmail is a very cheap hobby. Obviously, I'm doing paper clips, but you can use regular wire, crafting wire, Dollar Tree wire, doesn't matter. Only tools you need is a couple of pliers, something to cut with. They can be anything, but I like carpenter's pliers. Just picked up this pair of 15 bucks, and you need a metal rod. Metal rods come in all shapes and sizes. This is a nail. This is an actual mandrel for rings. And these are curtain rod pins. You can get 12 of these for a dollar, and they come in assorted sizes. That's it. That's all you need for chainmail. Now, if you're doing riveted chainmail, that's a whole different story. You're going to need tools for that. But basic butted chainmail, which this is called, you don't need much. I guarantee you I could do all this with stuff I find in the Dollar Tree for under 5 bucks. I may have just given myself a challenge. All right, so for this set, you're doing exactly what you just did with the first set, except now you're attaching this one to the dark green. And we're gonna get a little, getting a little narrow, so we're gonna use the pliers.
18 to go. Seventeen to go. No, actually, I'm not. I uh, don't like the fingers. For example, I definitely couldn't do what I'm doing right now if this had fingers on it. So I prefer the fingerless. I might go up to the knuckles, but eh, I like the fingerless. I've got a fingerless version of this made out of the gold paper clips. It's a little miniature, uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a fingerless Thanos glove. With, of course, the colors for the Infinity Stones, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense, man. What do you want to see later when you see Bob? Not right this second because I have no idea where I'd put it. <laughs> There's uh, plenty of videos on my feet of it. I just don't know where I put it. it. You don't have to go that far back to see it. I was careless. I know it's in one of my coat pockets. I just don't know what, what coat. Or should I say uh, blazer, not coat. The reason I know this is because I took it to work. <laughs> and I can't remember what I was wearing that day. But whichever blazer that was, that's where it is. As you're doing this, it's going to get tighter and tighter the more of these you put on it. But that's the whole point. You need it to be stiff. It's called a jump ring opener. You shove them in there, and you give it a little twist, and it gives you a free set of pliers, basically, without having to drop what you're doing. Saves time. Making a green version of this for another project. And we are almost done. Bad grab. Stop. 
starting to get tight. Honestly, I have no idea what time it is. I'm in central time zone, if anybody else knows. But I have no clock in my room. My office is a clock-free zone. I really need to get an Alexa in here. It's the only room in the house that doesn't have one. Apparently it's 148. Means I have been online longer than I thought. This ring's a little bit smaller, so I might actually need to take a couple of rings out. Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> I, uh, stitched his arm back on, so he's got a, he's got a, uh, prosthetic arm now, <laughs> but he's alive again, resurrected from the grave, he's a zombie dragon, fixed him in my live show, I think that was last week, We're catching up to the spot where the metal is connected, so we're running into some issues, but not going to stop us. Just gets a little slower each ring. Seven to go. Six to go. And the room's filling back up again. A little snag here. All right, I'm going to disconnect this one. I'll reconnect it after I have the inner ring on the other ones done. Just to make this easier. Much nicer. I learned that lesson the last time I was doing this. I don't know why I forgot it this time. Been a while. Now, what might be cool is to make a whole bunch of these and turn each one of these into rings and a piece of chain mail. No worries. Not going to be on too much longer here. We're at the bottom of the ninth of this one. Third live of the day, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I go live a lot on the weekends. Pop in, pop out when I'm not busy. It is late again, but sometimes you got to switch your clock up, get some of an audience that you don't normally get. Been a long day. Started by spending three hours at the DMV, the greatest place on earth. Uh, originally, my guess was 50 hours, but I've changed the uh, 
pattern that I'm doing on the shirt. So I'm going to tack another 100 hours at least onto that thing. I'm doing the sleeves in the very small rings. These things take forever. Definitely going to need to remove some of these. This is a little too loose. All right, so we're not going to add this one back in. Make sure we count this out right. So each light one we take off, we got to take a dark one off. That's fine. Okay, one more dark back on. And we're done. See, you say free time. I say hobby time. Oops, hooked in the wrong ring. Uh, we just started this like an hour ago, so not that long. It's only 60 rings. Well, 57 now that I've taken some of them out. Last ring is always the problem. See, that's where I connected the loop. So I'm trying to work around that bump. I knew this moment was coming. At the moment, we're making a green version of this for another project. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide the part that's already completed over the hump. If I can, I might need to crimp this a little bit more. Over the hump, darn you. Here we go. <laughs> I had it. Try a twist. I really just need to get two rings through there. again. Without dropping it. Really? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know what I just did, I just ripped the rubber off of that ring, so that ring is now no good. <laughs> I squeezed it a little bit too hard on the last ring. That was the first one of the night I did not done that too. Luckily, I got one more extra. I 
it would break on the last <laughs> the last ring. It's because it's tight, and that's the reason. Okay, gently, gently. Okay. Nope, second to last ring. I was wrong anyway. And I just did disconnect. <laughs> I'll tell you. <ya. laughs> That's how it always goes. It's always the first ring or the last ring that you have problems with. Okay, you gotta get these things to line up right. Overlap. Stay still. And I still got one more inner ring. Come on. Cooperate. There we go. It actually might still be a little bit too loose. What the hell is going on right there? All right, green, I'm sorry, metallic green, correct. Dark green, correct. Lime green, incorrect. Still not behaving properly. Boredom. Boredom mainly. Hate to have to cut that, but oh well. Did I remove the dark green when I removed the light green? That's the question. Let me count these again real quick. It does have to be the same number of each color. If I do not have the same number, then that's what's going on. Okay. 
Okay, 19 of the light. Eighteen in the dark, so that's the problem. Okay, so I one dark missing and one metallic. Give him a second for what? Yeah, I said I'd uh, show off Bob here just a second once I finish this since I'm so close. I need to readjust the camera. See, this is why we saved those rings earlier. Just in case. Should only need one of each, but I'm gonna get three anyway. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy too. Which is probably why this last last ring is causing problems. Alright. So it should coil around and overlap with itself. If that makes sense. So metallic is coiled and it wraps around itself. I have one too many light green actually, so instead of adding another one like I was about to do, since we have 19 light green, 18 of two others, this should be the end, which means one of these should be connected to two. There it is. Math, I should have just counted them from the start. Saved myself a lot of trouble. Gonna need to put that one back, but I need to take it off for a second. Should be one dark one. Do, 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 do. There it is. One dark one that's only connected to one. Okay, so those are the two that are off. Always got a trouble on that last ring, I tell you. Where I miscounted, I don't know, but. I definitely miscounted somewhere along the way. It is not bulletproof. I don't know. What do we want to give away? Bracelet, ring, little sculpture. Tugging this nice and tight. About to rip that rubber again. <laughs> All right, it's time for bed. <laughs> I need to get some sleep before I can figure out what the hell is going on with that one little, one little spot. It's going to drive me nuts. I need to learn how to walk away. So we're going to do a Bob. <laughs> Quick Bob showing, and then we're calling it. Got to know when to walk away sometimes. <laughs> I mean, Bob's coming. Here we go. Gotta 
get him situated. Bob. And his arms and legs are up there. But that's Bob. Currently a quadriplegic. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We'll get you them legs and arms someday. I've been doing this 15, 16 years. I've got uh, hundreds of things that I've given away. <sighs> Majority of them, unfortunately, I don't even have pictures of because I've given them all away. I only use paper clips for everything. All of it is paper clips. Paper clips, paper clips. All those are filled with paper clips. Bob is made of paper clips, including his gold tooth. That was done by request. Somebody else said I need to give him a Flava Flav clock. I'm working on that. But yes, Bob is paper clips as well. Good, Bob. All right, y'all, I'm going to bed.